a cold update letting you guys see what took hits this last couple nights we had two nights below 30 out here in Santan Valley I had my lowest recorded yard temperature at 24 degrees and in my tropical zone we didn't get below I uh, didn't get below 35 so I want to show you guys what I did and what I didn't do to protect it and what's survived so first off I'll start off with my passion fruit vine so my passion fruit the last few years has always gotten beat up with the cold it has not done well anything below freezing usually kills it off so as you can see I've had zero protection I have zero light I have zero uh, blankets just just counting on where I planted it so on one side I have a tangelo tree that is providing some frost protection I really think I don't know if there's science behind it but if you have a plant as an understory tree that the frost will hit that plant first and it takes longer for it to get down so it seems like the frost hits the tangelo which you know I have some wrinkled leaves on the tangelo but the tangelo is pretty hardy when it comes to cold I, I never protect it I never really notice any any issues with it so it's got that it's also growing on a fence there isn't a lot of uh, wind blowing through here um, because the tangelo blocks it on one side and then a center block wall the other thing is it is next to a pool which water doesn't freeze and you know it doesn't freeze very quickly if it's a large body of water so it actually takes some of the energy away from uh, the air around it trying to keep it warm so I think that helps a little bit with the uh, cold protection so coming over here uh, white sapote doing great still got flower buds doesn't look like any type of hit whatsoever on that loquats probably growing in the cold they love it avocado Marcus pumpkin uh, decides looking a little bit lethargic from I think not getting enough Sun it's doing well I still have quite a bit of new growth coming out right now I think I finally figured out the watering for this guy what did take a hit elephant ear so these things have survived all the other little cold snaps we've had this winter but it looks like we finally reached temperatures that that took it down so that's okay those are more ornamental for me I thought they just look cool artichokes no issues there spinach no issues there lemons I don't think they ever need cold protection I see people cover them all the time but I think that they're very robust um, this is a Shangri-La mulberry that hasn't lost its leaves so hopefully that cold snap will cause it to lose some leaves this is a uh, not a red <laughs> guava but looks like it took a hit with the cold um, these these leaves were very very much green two days ago so probably have some dieback lose some leaves but my guava seems to always come back strong every year um, back here is a Mexican cream guava you can see everything that's on the understory of the mulberry looks green still you go up to the top and where it's not having any protection and you see that it's burned a little bit stone fruits in the back no issues the only thing I was worried about is some of the buds on my new ones but if I lose a crop this year so what um, bananas they still lost their leaves from the year before oh wow I just noticed that that sucks that's my ice cream that's a flower dang it <laughs> oh well I was Maybe it'll survive, but I, I'm not holding my breath. Um, Jamaican cherry. This one died back the last go round. My son's trying to save it by putting insulation around the trunk. Maybe it'll go. Scratch test still shows green. Um, bamboo. I don't think anything will kill this sucker. Mulberry. Uh, grapefruit. Things robust. I think citrus are just 
excellent for the desert. This apple banana actually did pretty, it, it, it has the dead leaves all around it, but it looked pretty green and good. Its pups down below were good, but there's really no protection here. You get a little bit of wind protection from the wall, but it's still pretty open. So this banana looks as though it uh, has seen better days. Uh, black bamboo, um, I was told it's pretty cold sensitive, but it looks like it's holding on just fine. It's had a year to get established. Then we get to my tropical area. So my sugar cane, I've been told that it's cold sensitive, but it looks fantastic. My weeds, oh wow, nothing will kill them. Not even my tortoises that are supposed to eat them. Um, this is my black sapote. So I'm a little bit concerned because the leaves do look a little darker, but they look pretty good. Hopefully I don't have anything to worry about here, but we'll see. Um, mangoes seem pretty protected. Uh, this papaya looks like it actually took a little bit of a hit. But if you guys have seen papayas, when they when they take a huge cold hit, their, their leaves almost immediately weep. So I think although it took a little bit of a hit, it'll be okay. So if you see these leaves right here, you see how they're dark on the black sapote versus... Some leaves that are down in the under under undercarriage. Now yeah, they look different to me, but maybe they look the same to you. Here's my uh, lychee or lychee. New growth still looks very healthy. Um, my longan doesn't look like anything happened to it. It looks fantastic. Casters, they're a good sign. If your casters look droopy, it got cold. So casters are pretty robust. Two bananas that I don't remember what kind they are. They look very healthy. Um, back here, one of my first mangoes, Valencia Pride, looks excellent. The papaya that I'm growing, very, very good, very healthy. If you look right here, I'm actually hiding a thermometer inside that I can uh, monitor the temperature in my tropical area. So I have it a little bit on the higher side. So right now it's measuring 50 degrees when I woke up this morning um, at 4 in the morning. It was at uh, 35 degrees. So I'm not doing anything for winter protection back here other than I have it between my two-story house, my neighbor's two-story house, and a brick wall. So that that is my secret. Um for keeping these alive. The, the other thing that I use is the casters. Hopefully they'll absorb some of the frost. Don't know how, how accurate my theory is, but so far it's held up. So this particular mango right here is a lemon meringue mango. This is one of the more frost sensitive mangoes that I, I've, I've come to know. So right now, no damage whatsoever. And this one is not right against the house. This one is uh, against the wall. So really no, no extra protection. Bananas that are in the back here among the casters appear to be doing just fine. No issue with the little dragon fruit cutting. And then this is my Phoenix mango. New growth looks good. Back here is my Kathy mango. It's growing excellent. So that's what I have for winter. Um, hopefully everything still turns out, um, well for me this year. Last year I had everything covered, and this year I don't. So we'll see how it does. If I can get everything to survive this winter, then I'll be very excited. A lot less work than having to protect everything, but I also know it's worth the investment. So... If you don't have a good climate that you've monitored, I wouldn't recommend risking all your plants on it. I, I made sure my temperatures were always 5 to 10 degrees warmer than what the outside temperature was before I committed to this. So that's all I have. All right, thanks.